Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new. I'm Maya and today I'm going to be showing you guys all the equipment that I use for my YouTube videos. I think the behind the scenes of making videos for YouTube is really interesting and I don't think a lot of people really know how much effort that people put into the videos. I mean, if you think about it, right now you're just watching this on a screen, but in front of me I have lights, camera, microphones, and a bunch of equipment laid out along with all the software and apps that I use to make my thumbnails, edit my videos. It's a lot. So I'd like to educate you guys a little bit more on what I use and what I recommend. So let's get into this video. So first I'm going to start with the main thing that I use and that is for filming. So I use two things when I film my videos one of them being a camera and one of them being a phone. If you guys haven't already seen, I have filmed two videos on my phone, but if you guys don't know, I have the iPhone XR. I love this phone, it shoots up to 4K. And I normally use my phone when I'm trying to take other shots or angles when I'm filming, but besides that, when I'm just trying to get one shot, like right now with me here, I use the Sony A6500. I love this camera, the quality on it is amazing. It shoots in 4K, but normally when I upload my videos, I do them in 1080p. And yeah, besides all that, that is what I use to film my videos. Next, let's head on over to the lighting. So I use a lot of stuff for my lighting. I mean, I have a light on my roof. I got a light in front of me. I have another light in front of me, which is blinding my eyes at the moment. But I'm going to show you guys what it would look like if I, well, didn't really have any other lighting except the, uh, light on my roof, that really sucks. So I'll show you right now. Shut the ring light off and we'll shut the bad boy off right here. So it might uh, look bad right now. I don't even know because I can't see myself at the moment, but it probably does not look the best compared to when I actually have my lighting. So yeah, that is what it looks like when I don't film with light. So I use two lights when I film. The first one being the Cameron BI Color LED ring light. This was the first light that I ever got. It is a ring light and this ring light actually attaches to my tripod, which is really convenient and nice because everything can just be set in one place and not all over the place. I really love this light. You can adjust it with the warmth and the brightness. You can also actually shut off different parts of the light as it is separated into like four pieces, which I'll show you right now actually. So this is me shutting off one of them. And then I can turn it back on. And onto the second light that I actually recently just got is the Godox FL60 flexible LED light. This one has really upped the lighting in my videos. If you guys didn't see my last video on my iPad unboxing, the lighting- That looks pretty sick. And if you guys didn't see my last video that I just posted, it was my iPad unboxing. The lighting in that was so good. I'm obsessed with it. It's a lot better than if you look back at my MacBook Pro unboxing video where I was only using my first light, which was the ring light. So yeah, this second light that I was just talking about really adds a lot to my videos, especially with all the goddess lighting. But yeah, so that is what I use for lighting as well as, you know, it's cheap uh, light on my ceiling but besides that let's get into the tripods so the tripod that i use when i film is the cameron tripod i love this because i can set my ring light on it which i said as earlier it's very convenient and nice you can go higher shorter you can tilt back forth a lot of stuff but i also have some other tripods which i'll show you guys right now so this one is the optex qsh ot 360 all i'm gonna say is i remember that i got this in a set now it looks short but this thing extends like a lot <laughs> it's kind of like hard to twist it and get it uh, going like it goes way more than this, but you have to like twist, pull, twist, pull. But I really like this because it's super light, it's easy, and look, it literally just folds all into one. So that's really nice. And when I got this as a set, I also got some other pieces with it. One of the pieces that I got, I actually use a lot when I film, and it's this piece right here because it can simply just like rotate and be on an angle so my camera can be like 
facing down or up and it's really nice and the other thing that came with it is this piece which is like the base and it can be out super wide or if you just simply tilt the top you can also just make it a little taller so it doesn't go out as much but yeah i just i just remember getting this as a set but i don't really know exactly what the whole set was called because i got this literally like two years ago so and going along with the tripods when i use my phone sometimes to film i use this joby thing right here where it simply just spreads out and goes in and it holds your phone in place next on to the tech kind of stuff as i'd like to say so to edit my videos you know i use softwares and apps like final cut pro along with a bunch of apps that i use to make my thumbnails which by the way i have a full in-depth video on how i edit my thumbnails so if you guys want to go check that out it will be up here and in the description box below but besides that i use the macbook pro 16 inch i also have a full video on this where i did an unboxing I love this laptop so much. It is a beast. It works so fast and holds so much stuff. I never have any problems with this laptop and yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about this. On to some of the extra stuff that I use. I also use an iPad, my new iPad. I use this to make animated graphics and animations for my videos, if you guys haven't really noticed. I've been incorporating a lot of my own graphics I've been making into my videos. And along with that, I also have the Apple Pencil here. And like I said earlier, I also use my phone sometimes to film for other angles and shots. Next, we are going into the adapters and film cards that I use when I film my videos. So first up, let's start with the film card. The film card that I like to use is the Sandix Extreme Pro. This works really well, I think specifically for 4K. I mean, you can use it for other stuff too, but I just know this is a really commonly recommended card for filming in 4K. Here I have the 128 gigabyte, but I also have the 32 gigabyte one. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about a film card. And for the adapters, because I use a MacBook Pro, there is no film card slot for it, so I did have to get adapters for it. But I am really glad that I did because I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff within the past four months of getting back to YouTube, so it's really nice having this USB-C type multi-adapter that takes in a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, we've got two slots here, two slots here. We've just got a whole bunch of stuff, and that's really good because I'm gonna be showing you guys actually a few things that I use here that need to be plugged in to this. And by the way, this is the main thing that gets plugged into my MacBook as it fits properly into the MacBook. So this is what I use to put my film card in so stuff from my film card can go to my laptop. This is the universal card reader so it basically can read any card. It has so many slots and I've only used one of them within the four months that I've had it. It has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things on it. I love it, it processes really well, and I just plug this into this. And lastly, in the adapter section, we have the best investment I could make so far, and this is my Lacey Rug USB-C external hard drive. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys, I have been having so many problems with my MacBook. Not because it's a MacBook, but because I use Final Cut Pro and my library has contaminated so much stuff that I had so much space wasted in my MacBook and it got to the point where I couldn't even edit my videos and um, I was due for an external hard drive. I love this one. It's not just really cute because of the orange, but I got the five terabyte, what? What? <laughs> I got the five terabyte one, so I'm doing really well space-wise and now thankfully my MacBook works so much quicker and I don't have any problems with it when I'm using it. And going along with this plugging into this, this also plugs into this and it's a little trio. Now I'm gonna be moving into some of the extra stuff that I use when I film. And when I say extra, I mean it's not really necessary, but I do have it. So the first thing is this DeadCat VMPR. So you probably see a lot of YouTubers have this microphone on their camera and it's really fluffy. And the reason for that is because this blocks out wind, which is really important because I had recently filmed a video outside. It was my stationary video. And I realized you guys might have not heard it, but there was a lot of wind and sometimes it got picked up or other things just got picked up that I didn't want. So with this being on my road mic, which this specifically fits for the road mic, this one, it will help take out the wind sounds and just focus on me. And lastly, for the equipment that I use when I do my videos, I have my Lilyput 4K camera assist screen. So 
Okay, I was actually trying to use this for today's video, but I was experiencing a lot of problems with it. And the reason I got this is so I don't have to get up, look behind my camera, see if I'm in the film or the angle. Like, it just, it's right there because the Sony A6500 does not have a flip screen, unfortunately. So I'm just looking at a lens and I'm praying that one, it's filming and that two, that I'm in frame. So yeah, I'm actually not too sure if I'm gonna be returning this, but this was something that I was gonna be using a lot. And this one is specifically for 4K, but yeah. That is everything that I use to make my videos. So it is a lot. And I'm so grateful that my parents support me and get me this stuff like it's a lot so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope this was kind of helpful and educated you guys on a lot of the stuff needed or that i use for my youtube videos if you guys liked it make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel so you guys can see new videos every week i'm currently posting twice a week on thursdays and sundays at 10 a.m and you guys can put your notifications on so you guys can be notified when i upload my video even though you know it's at 10 a.m and if you guys have stuck around this long in the video comment this emoji on the screen here and without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Bye.